Good morning, everybody. Welcome. I see many of you joining me now. Welcome. I'll give you all a few seconds to, to keep piling in here. I hope you all are having a, a nice uh, Tuesday morning. It's a good start to your day getting to come and visit beautiful Anza Perigo Desert State Park. All right. Well, you can see on my screen right now, um, I've got a couple resources up for you. I've got our Padlet. So after our program, if you have any questions, you can feel free to enter in your questions on our Padlet or uh, just scroll through and see what other students have been wondering from around the world. Uh, we also have our um, home learning program website. Next week is our final week of programming. Um, I believe this is going to be our final program here at Anza Borrego, but you never know, we'll see. <laughs> uh, and um, of course, all of our social media platforms are down there at the bottom. So if, you, if you'd like to share any photos of, of yourself or um, of your students learning, um, definitely go ahead and, and share those photos with us. I'd love to see you all learning with me. Um, that would be a really, really fun thing. But without further ado, let me come back on screen here. Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. We've got some great birds out here this morning, uh, making some funny sounds for all of us. Um, I'm sitting here under a nice Palo Verde tree. Um, it might be kind of hard to really see, but the Palo Verde gets their name from their green branches. And you can see, um, this Palo Verde currently has a bunch of little seed pods. They look like little green beans. <laughs> uh, and I'm sitting here in the shade. It's a little cloudy today, um, but it's still quite warm. It's about 90 degrees right now, and it's going to get over 100 degrees this afternoon. So it's nice and warm here in the desert. It's only going to get warmer. <laughs> Um, but today we're going to read a little story. Um, I've brought with me one of my favorite stories about some awesome desert animals uh, to read today. Uh, if you have this book at home, maybe you can read along um, and we'll, we'll, we'll get started. So my book is called Lizards for Lunch, A Roadrunner's Tale by Conrad J. Storad and illustrated by Beth Neely and Don Rance. Okay. Lizards for lunch. Look at that cute little lizard. Okay. Hello. Glad to meet you. Listen close, hear my tale. I live in southwestern deserts with coyotes fastest bird on the ground. Don't do much flying. I run in quick bursts that astound. Wow, look how fast. I'm a strong and proud bird, though great beauty I lack. Point forward to back. Whoa. Take a look at his toes. Two points. Two toes going forward and turning backwards. It's kind of silly. Snip, snap, crackle, munch. Her breakfast I gobble up bugs by the bunch. Crickets are chewy. Beetles go crunch. Likes lizards for lunch. To our nest, soft and chewy. Fat ones with horns tasted best. Look at all those little baby roadrunners in the nest eating some lizards. Hey, that one has a fork. Do roadrunners use forks? Mm, I don't think so. My long beak is sharp. My legs are quite strong. I like to run through the desert. I can run all day long. Look at them, they're racing. Life in the desert is tough. There are dangers for me. I will fight if I must, but I run to stay free. Wow, look at all those predators. We've got some 
hawks. There's an owl. There's a rattlesnake. Whoa. That's one reason to want to run. I spot my food from far off because my eyesight body quite lean. So I have really good eyesight. Oh, look at that lizard. <laughs> Listen close in the desert. You might hear my loud call, cooing notes to my family. Kukua, kukua, kua. Snip, snap, crackle, munch. For breakfast, I gobble up bugs by the bunch. Crickets are chewy, beetles go crunch. A hungry roadrunner likes lizards for lunch. My feathers are buff brown with a green and bronze sheen. I have black and white speckles, colorful bright eyes that gleam. Let's see if we can really look at They're so beautiful. They've got these really cool eyes. I run through the brush, wings spread and flapping. The noise scares up insects. My mouth begins snapping. Hoppers buzz this way and that. I snatch them with my long beak. The bugs are delicious, but it's fat lizards I seek. Wow, can you see any lizards in this photo? I think I see a few of them. Some lizards have black collars or colored stripes that all match. But one thing is certain, lizards are real hard to catch. Some lizards are wiggly some have horns and thick skin. To catch one is tricky. It takes quickness to win. Take a look at all of these different lizards here. They're all doing the can-can. Well, our hungry roadrunner is sleeping. To fight a horned lizard can be quite a scene. Puffed like a big spiked balloon. The creature looks mean. Wow, look at that horned lizard with all of its little horns. The referee looks a little worried. I'll eat mice, bugs, and spiders. Small snakes are a treat. But it's lizards I love. Their taste can't be beat. Snip, snap, crackle, munch. For breakfast, I gobble up bugs by the bunch. Crickets are chewy, beetles go crunch. A hungry roadrunner likes lizards for lunch. The end. So this is one of my favorite books. Did you all like it? Raise your hand if you enjoyed that book, Lizards for Lunch, uh, A Roadrunner's Tale. Nice, I see so many great hands uh, raising right now. So uh, I, I, I love this story because it talks about uh, one of my favorite animals, the road runner. And I actually brought a photo with me to share today of um, some of these animals that we were learning about. So let me see if I can pull up um, my animal photos here and we can, we can take a look at some of these creatures. So we've got our beautiful road runners to start with and then we've got, you know, the lizards, those yummy lizards for lunch. And um, let's see if I can pull up all of these great photos right now. And then we'll see if we can look at some different animals. Okay, let's see if that'll, nope, hang on. There we go, now we're right set up. So we've got uh, this beautiful road runner here. Now, a road runner is an example of a predator. Do any of you know what a predator is? Let's think about what predators are. Well, we just learned about all the different things that roadrunners like to eat. 
Can you remember some of the things that that roadrunner like to eat? Well, for, for starters, we've got lizards, all different types of lizards. Uh, they also love to eat things maybe like mice or bugs or spiders, even scorpions and snakes. They're really great predators. They've got that long, sharp beak that helps them to hunt um, and to, to bite their food. And they've got their long, um, skinny legs that help them to run really fast. Uh, so being able to run fast is going to help them chase after some of those animals that are really quick. But, you know, we also learned about the roadrunner having predators themselves. What might be a predator of a roadrunner? What might be something that wants to hunt a roadrunner? Well, many of you might remember seeing um, the rattlesnake. Some larger snakes might want to hunt for a roadrunner. Maybe some larger birds like hawks. So here in the desert, we have um, many different animals um, that are predators that hunt for their food. And then we also have lots of prey, um, uh, animals that possibly are, can get eaten. Uh, that might be uh, some other animal's lunch. So this roadrunner here, take a look at this one. It has a scorpion in its mouth. Wow, isn't that so cool? A scorpion? That's pretty, that's pretty brave of that roadrunner if you ask me. But we all know that they like lizards for lunch. So this is a, a male and a female, a boy and a girl uh, roadrunner um, having some lunch. But let's talk about some of the prey species. So to be a predator means that you hunt for your animals, but to be a prey means that you are the one being hunted. So this lizard here is a, a really nice little side blotched lizard. Um, you can see them all over the desert here and they are very fast because if you have to run away from predators like road runners that are also really fast, you're gonna need to run really quickly. Uh, we also have, um, if you take a look at this um, little side blotch lizard, if you look really close, I know it's not the best photo, but if you look really close, you'll notice its tail is kind of a different color than the rest of its body. That's because lizards um, can actually regrow their tails. So this little lizard is regrowing its tail right now because maybe a road runner took a bite out of its tail. And so not only can you run really fast to escape road runners, you know, if you, you weren't so lucky one time, you're gonna be able to re regenerate part of your body, which is really, really cool thing. Now, this is one of the road runners favorites. Uh, it's that horned lizard. You see its little horns up top here? Now, horned lizards are really good at blending in with their habitat. And I have an example of one blending in, but I, I don't think it's coming up next. Um, but all these horned lizards are really cool to this area. And this is one of our larger lizards. This is called a desert iguana. Uh, they can get over a foot long. They're really quite large and they're really, really pretty. Sometimes you can go kind of close to them, but oh, does anybody see a lizard in this photo? Raise your hand if you can see a lizard in this photo. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, I see a bunch of you raising your hands now. Awesome. So if we zoom in on this, this uh, horned lizard here, uh, here we go. We've got horned lizards um, are actually pretty cool creatures um, for a number of reasons. Um, they do have that hard, thick skin with horns that might help protect them from um, animals like roadrunners, but they have some other cool ways of protecting themselves as well. Now, there are many, let me come back here, there are many different animals that live here in the desert, um, many different types of predators, many different types of prey, um, other than roadrunners. Can you think of any predators that might live here in the desert other than a roadrunner? Hmm. Well, we've already thought about snakes. We have about 19 different species of uh, non-venomous snakes and four different species of rattlesnakes. So for rattlesnakes, we have the sidewinder rattlesnake, we have the western diamondback, the red diamond, and the speckled rattlesnakes. And rattlesnakes are really cool creatures. Um, and some of them will come out at nighttime to hunt for their prey. Um, why do you think that some animals here in the desert like to come out at nighttime as opposed to the daytime? Hmm. 
Well, let's think about it. It is 9 a.m. right now, or sorry, 9.15, uh, and it's already about 90 degrees. It's pretty warm during the daytime here. So some animals come out at nighttime because it's a lot cooler at night. They won't have to run to chase after uh, their, or, or slither to chase after their uh, prey or maybe run away from their predators in the hot, hot sun. They're going to be able to do it in the cool uh, night, under the cool night sky. So some animals here come out at nighttime to escape from predators or to, to, to hunt for their prey. Um, whereas some animals you can see out today. And maybe we will walk around and take a look and see if we can find uh, any animals. I've been, uh, I sat here for a little while before we began and I sat really still hoping that some animals would come by me. And I think I heard some rustling in these bushes back here, but I haven't seen anything yet. But let's see if I have some more photos before we walk around of our, um, of some other predators and prey species. So some of you might have been thinking of some good creatures. Um, but let's see if I can pull some good examples up here. Let's see. How about these creatures? Okay. So this one right here, oh, it didn't turn for me. Let's try that again. There we go. We've got this really cute rabbit called a jackrabbit. And jackrabbits um, can often be found around right where I am right now. Uh, so I'm hoping that maybe we will see one when I start to walk around. Uh, but jackrabbits are all over the desert here. They've got these really big tall ears. This is a younger jackrabbit here um, and you can tell they're much different from um, some of the smaller cottontail rabbits because jackrabbits are actually a type of hare which means that they are much longer, have a little bit longer legs and larger ears. Uh, the cottontail rabbits tend to be much smaller. They've got smaller ears and these little white uh, tails. This jackrabbit is called a black-tailed jackrabbit. Um, but a jackrabbit might be uh, a prey species because they like to eat plants. Uh, so other animals might hunt for jackrabbits. How about this creature? This one's blending in. Can anybody find the creature, the predator that I'm, I'm pointing out here? This is our coyote. We've got coyotes all over the desert here. And sometimes we do have coyotes that, that come out at nighttime we can sometimes hear them um, howling at night or in the evenings or the early morning, maybe yipping um, with their family members. But coyotes are all over here uh, in the desert and they tend to stay kind of along the desert floor here. Um, and they might be a great predator of many types of animals. Oh my gosh, friends, a tiny little bunny. Oh my gosh, okay. This, there's a baby bunny. Okay, it, it's kind of hiding behind this rock right here. I don't necessarily want to move. I don't want to scare it. Um, let me see if I can move just a little bit. This is exciting. Can you see the baby bunny? Looks like it almost might go underneath this rock here. It's sticking its head underneath. Oh, it ran away. It, I've been seen. Did you all see the baby bunny? Raise your hand if you saw it. Oh, it's hiding under the, the bushes now. That was so cool. I knew that if I sat here long enough, maybe we'd have a friend come visit us. So there's a baby bunny hiding out uh, underneath these Palo Verde trees. That's really, really awesome. Um, and it's still kind of moving around here. Maybe I'll, I'll face this way so that you can, you can watch and, and raise your hand if it like pops out or something like that. It's, it should be hiding somewhere over here. 
<laughs> so anyways, <laughs> back to what we were talking about. Uh, we've got um, uh, bunnies and jackrabbits and, and hares all over uh, the desert here, as well as predators like coyotes. Um, and I'll have to go back to, to sharing my screen to see if I can get some, some other predators and prey species up here. Let's see if I can find any uh, good photos. Lost all my other ones. Uh, let's see, how about, ooh, how about these animals? And I hear these jackrabbits behind me. Okay. I've got some good ones lined up for you all. Okay, there we go. So this is one of my favorite things to share because there are many creatures in this photo um, of the same kind. These are our bighorn sheep. And there are actually a bunch of bighorn sheep in this photo. And I challenge you to, to take a minute, see if you can count all of the bighorn sheep that you can see in this photo. And you're gonna have to look really, really close because some of them you can maybe only see some horns sticking out maybe you can't see the whole sheep but you can tell that part of it's it's there how many sheep can you see well i think there's somewhere around eight in this photo i'm gonna have to recount again but my screen's pretty small so i'll have to try it again an, uh, another time but i believe that there's somewhere around seven to eight sheep in this photo. Wow, that's a lot of sheep. And these bighorn sheep are really good at blending in and camouflaging because they have some um, predators that live in the mountain areas with them. Can anybody think of a predator of a bighorn sheep? Let's take a look at what these bighorn sheep look like up close. Well, these sheep, they have to be able to um, climb really well and run really well. So they've got these cool um, uh, hooves that help them to climb these big rocks that they live along. And the little lambs from day one of their life, they can climb just as well as their parents can. So they're also really good um, at running around and, and, and climbing around all these boulders so that they can escape from predators. And some of you might've been thinking of some predators. How about this one? A mountain lion or cougar or puma, all the same kind of animal. So we've got some really cool predators and prey, but I've got one more animal. Whoa, this is a rattlesnake called a sidewinder. Uh, you can tell it's a sidewinder because it's kind of on their head. Uh, it almost looks like they have two little horns or just like really high arched eyebrows. <laughs> um, and sidewinders are really cool predators here. Uh, they often come out at nighttime and they like to hunt for these little guys, these little kangaroo rats. They're so, so cute. But I like to think of kangaroo rats as escape artists because they get their name, the kangaroo rat, because they can jump really well. They're also known to kick rattlesnakes in the face. Oh my gosh, can you imagine a, a tiny little kangaroo rat kicking a rattlesnake? That's a very brave little kangaroo rat. Uh, so there are lots of really cool creatures here in the desert, lots of amazing predators, lots of amazing prey species that all make up this beautiful desert habitat. Uh, and I thought I'd take the last um, uh, a few minutes to kind of walk around here and, and show off some of the, the desert that I have around me here. And we'll see if we can uh, discover any other animals. So there's um, clearly some bunnies hanging out around here, um, but let's see if we can find some other animals. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll see a lizard, but they're usually pretty good at running uh, away as soon as they sense humans. Because guess what? Humans, we're animals. We are predators. So that's why most animals are afraid of us. Uh, and when we walk around, they'll try and get away. Even if, you know, we're not going to do anything, I'm going to be a friend to all of the animals here. We can't communicate that very well, so they're going to try and run away. All right, so I've spotted my first animal, so I'm going to start turning my screen around, so hopefully you all can start spotting some animals as well. This animal is really, really quick, and it's already kind of out of um, sight, but it was called an uh, antelope ground squirrel. Um, it's a very, very small little 
um, mammal that almost, in my opinion, looks kind of like a chipmunk, but there, it's a very small type of squirrel. Oh, oh, two rabbits. Did you see them? There's one right underneath this ocotillo. Oh, These are more baby rabbits. We have a lot of baby rabbits. Oh man, it's so small. It could fit in my hand. Can you, oh, it just ran that way and another one ran that way. Well, I, I don't wanna disturb them, but I'm just gonna walk this way. We wanna make sure that when we're walking around in nature, we are respecting wildlife. Okay, he's right there. He's, he's uh, cleaning his or her little feet. So, so cute. I hope you all can see this. I'm gonna try and hold my camera really, really still and get it to the ground. So you can see him. He's right here. So they like to live under these little shrubs here. And I'm gonna keep moving. He might run away as soon as I start moving. I'm gonna move away from him. There's actually another one right out here. So lots and lots of rabbits. This one looks a little bit older, but these are our black-tailed jackrabbits. Let's see if we can just move along here. So I am outside our visitor center right now. I can see our visitor center, which is currently closed. Um, uh, but we have a lot of really cool plants and animals that like to live out in this area. And since we've been closed for a while, there's been a lot of rabbits uh, taking up shop here. Oh, I just saw some, I heard something move around in this bush down here. We've got, this is uh, two bushes right here. Uh, we've got some brittle bush up front here, which is a really cool uh, plant with kind of fuzzy leaves. These fuzzy leaves help them, um, they've got white fuzz all over them that help them to um, kind of uh, keep some of the sunlight away from them um, to, to keep them cool. And then this big bush here is my favorite. This bush right here, if you kind of rub um, some of it together in your, your hand and you smell your hands, ugh. This is cheese bush, and it smells like stinky cheese. It's one of my favorite plants here in the desert because it's just kind of so silly. But it's a beautiful day out today, a little bit cloudy. Um, and I, I'm hoping that maybe we'll see some, some other animals, but how many of you have ever visited the desert before? Raise your hand for me if you've ever visited the desert. Hmm. Some of you have visited the desert before. Nice. So the desert is a really, really beautiful place. Um, it's fun to come and explore during the winter time. Um, it's not as nice during the summer because it gets so, so hot. This is a really cool plant called a cat claw. There's lots and lots of pollinators like bees and flies and other insects all over this, this large um, uh, plant right now and it's very very fragrant. We also have a lot of bees over here because we've got a little pond here. So there's a lot of bees hanging out by the water. So I might not go near all of these bees but I do want to take a little shortcut here and I want to see if we can see some more creatures. Let's see, we've got a lot of you joining us today. Uh, I'm so glad you're all able to come um, and explore the desert with me this morning. Um, I just saw another <laughs> ground squirrel run um, in this direction. They're very, very fast. Oftentimes you only see them when they're running away. <laughs> but sometimes over here, oh yeah, okay. Can you see the little jackrabbit right there? It's laying down. So we have lots of little baby, they're, they're tiny, they're like this big right now. Tiny little jackrabbits laying down in the shade in the morning time here at our visitor center. It's a, a really nice time for all of these little animals uh, to grow up. And there's not too many people here because it's so, so, so warm and we're closed. So we have a lot of wildlife just kind of enjoying the, the peaceful mornings here. 
So I'm not going to take up too much more of all of your mornings, and I, I don't want to disturb our tiny little jackrabbit friends as cute as they are. I hope you all can see that. It kind of looks a little blurry to me, but hopefully you can see him. He looks so, so peaceful there. All right, so thank you all so much for joining me. I had a wonderful time today reading uh, lizards for lunch and learning about uh, different predators and prey here in, at Anza Burrigo. Sorry, we couldn't see a road runner today. That would have been really, really cool. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I know you're all doing such a great job staying safe at home uh, and, and working to flatten that curve. Uh, hopefully we're going to be able to open up soon and, and maybe you'll be able to come out and explore parks and nature uh, near where you live uh, in your local areas. So thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your morning. Bye friends.